Hi, this is E.T., and this is Fireman Jim Flynn, the only fighter to knock out future heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey. Or did he do that, really? Here's what's on record. Dempsey fought Flynn two times. The first one was on February 13, 1917. That was in Murray, Utah. Flynn knocked out Dempsey in the first round. The fight was stopped, well, not by the referee, but by Jack Dempsey's brother, Bernie, who was in his corner. The second fight was on February 14, 1918. Dempsey knocked out Flynn in the first round. Also on record is this. Two years and some months after Dempsey's so-called loss to Flynn, he became heavyweight champion of the world, and he did it by beating the reigning champion, Jess Willard, who himself had knocked out Jack Johnson. That was in Cuba back in April of 1915. Jack's destruction of Willard is considered by many the most severe beating ever meted out in a heavyweight championship bout. All these facts lead to a legitimate question. Did Fireman Jim Flynn, a washed-up journeyman at the time, actually knock out the rising star Jack Dempsey? Or did Dempsey throw the fight? Possibly for several reasons. The most important being he needed the money. He was broke. Boxing reporters and fans disagree to this day regarding the legitimacy of Flynn's victory in fight number one. Now, E.T. has formed his own opinion, but more on that later. Let's take a look at what others in the know have said. Newspaper and other reports at the time said Flynn's knockout of Dempsey was legit. They differ only on particulars. Some say that the fireman knocked out Jack with the first punch within 10 seconds of the opening bell. Billy Roche, at the time a referee quite well known, who was working in Flynn's corner, said that Dempsey was knocked down six times. Then he was knocked out. Roger Kahn, who uh, has written this book here, I'm holding it up, author of The Flame of Pure Fire, wrote that Dempsey was finished after two minutes. The Salt Lake City Deseret Evening News said that Dempsey was hit with four punches, two on each side of the head, before being knocked out with a left hook to the jaw. And that was at 27 seconds into the first round. The paper reported that Dempsey was insensible for several minutes, and when he was revived, he started slugging his seconds. He thought he was still in the fight. Then there's Dempsey himself. He said in his, I think it was 1977 autobiography, it was written with his uh, stepdaughter. He said as he walked into the ring to fight Flynn the first time, he'd realized that he'd not warmed up. He said, I was just getting my second wind when Bernie, my brother, threw in the towel. Now, the reasons to suspect that Dempsey threw the fight are these. Right after the fight, everybody was talking about a fix having taken place. Maxine Gates, who was Dempsey's wife, was very angry over what she said was Dempsey beating her up, told reporters and then said in court that Jack threw the fight, and he did it for money. Monty Cox, a boxing historian way back, wrote that the fight was a fix, and he drew from information that he got in a 23-part series about Dempsey that ran in the Chicago Tribune. I think it was 1920. The headline of that first story said this, Dempsey's lone knockout of his career 
a raw frame up. Anyway, both said that gym operators, newspapermen, Dempsey's own management at the time, all agreed Dempsey threw the fight. Cox wrote these words. Dempsey, an unknown, struggling, hungry fighter at the time, had the necessary motives to accept a payment to lay down. And he also pointed out that this first fight, which took place in Nevada, was a place where Jack Dempsey would never fight again. Then there's Flynn's record. Flynn was, in 1917, uh, that's when the first bout took place, 37 years old. 37 years old, he is extremely ancient at that time to be in the ring. He is 16 years older than Jack Dempsey. Flynn was a veteran of over 120 official fights, and he'd lost many of those. He'd won, and I'll put up a paper here from Box Rec, he'd won only 10 of his last 32 fights. In other words, Flynn was way beyond his best fighting years, and those fighting years were at best at the journeyman level. Flynn was, at the time of the first fight, very fat. He weighed in at 190 pounds. Keep in mind, he started out as a welterweight. He weighed, I think it was 168, 169 pounds for his first fight with heavyweight champion uh, Tommy Burns, which he lost. Dempsey, for this first bout with Flynn, was a rising star. He was only 21 years old. He'd won all but one of his official bouts, and the one that he had lost was to a talented, very seasoned Jack Downey. And Dempsey fought him again and uh, beat him up pretty bad, knocked him out in, I think, round two. Dempsey was desperate for cash. And the reputed cash offer that he was given to throw the first fight with Flynn was over $500, big money back then. I'll talk more about that. Dempsey knew also it would be obvious to everybody that he could destroy the journeyman Flynn. He knew that he could easily avenge this loss, which, as you know, he did a year later. And he knew enough about fighting to fake a loss and make it look real. He was never, before or later, knocked out, even by much heavier hitters than Flynn. And Dempsey was never legitimately defeated again until his two losses to Gene Tunney. I should mention that the record book does show a points loss after the two fights Dempsey had with Flynn. It was a points loss to one Willie Meehan, and it was a charity deal. As the soldiers, or doughboys as they were called, were uh, shipping off to Europe during World War I, nobody takes the loss to Meehan seriously. And keep in mind that Jack fought Meehan several times for shows, and each time he would win. And he would go on to win the title after that. E.T.'s educated guess is this. Even a decrepit Jack Dempsey would never lose by points, let alone by KO, to even a prime Jim Flynn. Dempsey, as attested to by his wife, by his friends, by his associates, threw the fight for money. That $500 in 2022 might not sound all that much, but it means roughly $11,000 in today's money. And Jack Dempsey needed that money desperately. Pride forbade Dempsey from ever admitting to throwing a fight. But his ego spoke a year after that first fight when he knocked out Jim Flynn in the first round. 
That's what E.T. thinks, but that's me. What do you think? Type in your comments below. Subscribe to this channel. Tap the bell icon. You'll be notified of new uploads. And share these videos on other social media.